Okay, we're going to do a, a video on farming. And what I'm going to farm is karma flowers and then frostwood. You need frostwood these days instead of rowan wood. Um, karma flowers are pretty hard to find. This year is a karma flower. Can you see that? This sort of prickly looking plant. And on the map, I am up here. I fast travelled to the Throne of Ignis fast travel point, and there were some Kyoma flowers right below it. And now I'm over here and I found some more Kyoma flowers, but they're pretty rare. So I want to collect quite a few of these before I head back because I want to be able to grow these uh, because you need the seeds from these to deconstruct in order to create the frostwood seeds. So there we go. So that's what we're going to do, and uh, I'll bring you back when we get to the point of actually farming the flowers. So we'll see you soon. So we are back from the frozen north. And we have collected a few a few seeds. So let's have a look. Well not seeds, we've collected the plants. So I spent quite a long time collecting these. I got eleven cult biter herbs. Cult bitter? Cult bitter? Anyway, eleven of them. 40 Snowdonia Hawkweed and 24 Kyoma Flower. Now this is the one we want because we can turn the Kyoma Flower into Kyoma Flower seeds. We can plant those, we can grow lots of Kyoma Flowers and then we can make Frostwood. Okay. At least I assume we can get Kyoma Flower seeds that way. So let's head off to the deconstructor and see what we can get. So if we pop those in, uh, we get about 30% of 48, so what's that? Uh, 12, something like that. Mm. Let's see what that gave us. 16, oh well, that's not bad. Let's see what happens if we deconstruct the Snowdonia Hawksweed. Give us Snowdonia seeds, there we go. And can we do the same with this? We can, okay. Cool. So let's see what we got there. Nine cult biter seeds, 26 Snowdonia seeds, okay. So we've got some seeds. So, farming. First off, you need to invest some points. So for the farming, you need farm plots, sprinklers, and a mana generator. So these are level 20, or they were um, last time, I assume they still are. So you need to research those, and you may want to research uh, where is it? Hobart's growth solution. You don't actually need to, but that's 2700 fertilizer, and I think the mulch is about 700 fertilizer. So that's quite a big difference. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you both. So to make fertilizer, mulch. That's 900 fertilizer. Okay. You need bones, yellow pine, and mushrooms. Uh, eventually you'll be able to grow yellow pine, but you can't grow mushrooms. I don't think you can. Hmm. Be useful if you could, but I haven't found a way to do that yet. Right. If you know different, do leave me a comment. What I'm really interested in is frostwood saplings. However, they take two Kalma flower seeds, and I've only got 16. So I could plant those. I could plant eight frostwood sapling seeds. But I think what I need to do is plant these to get Kalma flowers. And I'll get a lot of Kalma flowers. And then I can make a lot of frost frostwood sapling seeds. So we're not going to do that just yet. So going back to the mulch, it's bones, four yellow pine, and five mushrooms. 
if we look at the, um, I think they're medium. Yep, they are. If we look at these things in the build menu, to build the sprinkler, you need 30 flawless rune gems and 30 enchanted stone. To build the farm plot, you need four mulch, which is worth remembering that, 20 enchanted stone and 20 flawless rune gems. Now, each sprinkler can f sprinkle eight farm plots. So you need 30 flawless rune gems and 30 enchanted stone for the sprinkler, and 160 enchanted stone and 160 flawless rune gems for the eight farm plots. So you need 190 of those to get a full setup. And you make those in the forge. <clears throat> so the flawless rune gems take three rune crystal. And the enchanted stone take five rune crystal and three stone. So if you need 160 of each of those, <clears throat> you're going to need 800 rune crystal for those. And, and over 500 rune crystal for those. So to get the whole set up, you're going to need a lot of rune crystal. Okay, we'll back out of that. So you make those. You head upstairs. <coughs> or you head wherever you want to go. But mine happens to be outside. Oh. And you put them down. And this is the format that you put them down in. So you put the sprinkler in the middle and a farm plot around each corner. And they take up a quarter of a full block. Each of these is a quarter of a full building block. Uh, so that, that's the sort of scale. Now then, let's have a look at a farm plot. So this farm plot already has lots of water and a bit of fertiliser. So is this one. This one has no fertiliser. It's fully watered. Now to... Have I got any runes in my inventory? I haven't, so I shall pop down and get some. You add runes, to rune crystals, to the mana generator in order to set it off. And which chest did I put the rune crystals in? There we go. So, you can... You can see the border around the uh, mana generator when I look at it. You can just put one in at a time by pressing E. So I'm just adding one rune crystal at a time. Or, you can hold E and it fills the ring with mana crystals. And so the sprinkler is now adding water to the crop plots. But it's not adding fertilizer. So what we'll do is we'll create some fertilizer. And we will need bones and mushrooms. Have we got mushrooms? And we've actually already got some mulch created. That's handy. So we'll interact with the workbench. Mulch, what do we need? We need yellow pine as well. So we'll get some of that from upstairs. Do we grow some more of that? But yeah, yellow pine's everywhere, so it's easy enough to get to. And so if you've got the yellow pine, the bones, and the mulch, you can craft more of them. Remember, you need four for one grow plot. Yeah. But you can also make Hobart's growth solution. And I would need some fairy dust for that. So let's get some fairy dust. It's in one of these chests. Uh -huh. Honestly, I've got a whole heap of it somewhere. It'll be the last chest I looked in. There we go. So in the conjur Conjuring Cauldron, we'll make... 
And you can see the, the issue is the mushrooms. You really need lots of mushrooms if you're going to farm. Yeah, I'll just make it, let it make one. So when you've got your fertilizer, whatever fertilizer you want to make, I've already got 41 mulch on me, so. You can click E and add one. And again, you can see in the middle of this, it's got a fertilizer circle. Uh, you can add one. And when I do that, if you just watch the color of the water coming out of the fertilizer, out of the sprinkler. Oh, is it not? Go on. Did I not pick up the mulch? I did. Oh. Ah, well that's never then. Okay. So let's interact with the individual farm plots. That's another way of doing it, I guess. Yeah. So I'm just adding my mulch into the farm plots manually. Ah, I wonder if you can only add the um, Hobart's growth solution into the sprinkler. You see it's taking three of the... Um, that's already virtually... Now let's have them all on maximum. Uh, let's go and get Hobart's growth solution and see if it does works with the growth solution. Oh, I'm curious now. But let's plant the crops first, because that'll be a bit of a waste of the Hobart's growth solution. Now to plant the crops, you interact with the plot, you take your mouse cursor up to here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Each grow plot can hold six seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now normally I don't plant mixed plots, but I really want all of those. And let's have all of those as well. I don't know what you use cold biter for, but I assume, since it's quite hard to find, it's probably going to be useful for something. Now all my crop plots have something in them. Now let's see if it'll... Yeah, I guess it only uses Hobart's growth solution. Yeah. But you can see the sprinkler has turned colour, so now it's fertilising the pro plots. Oh no. Now it's fertilising the plots, as well as um, hydrating them. But it's only fertilising the plots if it's got that colour to it. So that's how you plant plants, that's how you create a farm. That's the kind of level of resources you need, so don't throw those mushrooms away. Collect them every time you see them. Uh, and I'll bring you back when the plants have grown. And then we'll plant some more, and we'll get some uh, frostwood set, up, set off, and uh, we'll see how long that takes to grow. So I'll bring you back when we're getting somewhere. See you soon. Just thought I would um, quickly bring you back and show you the plants after 20 minutes. So this is 20 minutes. They're definitely growing. They're not the raw seeds anymore. When they're grown, it'll say harvest plant rather than remove plant. If we check out one of the crop plots, the farm plots, if it'll let me. There we go. I haven't put any more fertilizer in. But you can see it's ticking down, so it's used about four or five hundred fertilizer in about twenty minutes. So that's how it's going at the moment. So we'll come back when they're fully grown. See you then. Uh, 
40 minutes. So after 40 minutes, uh, this is what we've got. Now they're still not fully grown. Still says remove plant, not um, not harvest. Now the herb plant, whose name I can't recall, that seems to be growing, growing much more slowly than the others. My phone's just burbling away to itself there. So it's used about what, 900 fertilizer so far after about 40 minutes. So there you go. That's how it's going after 40 minutes. I filled that up, but I didn't fill it up last time I was here. So it looks like each rune crystal is about 10 minutes, maybe, or thereabouts. All right, so we'll leave that there, and we'll come back in another 10 or 20 minutes and see how we're doing. Okay, we're back at the plants after an hour, and harvest plant is what we're getting. I think for all of our crops. Yep, all of them. So, let's just check our inventory. I've got none of those plants in my inventory. So, let's pick uh, these guys first. Whoa. Farm plots used just under 1300 of the fertilizer. That's interesting, isn't it? Right. I'm going to pick these in first person because, frankly, it's quite hard to pick them in uh, in third person. Now, what's this pot uh, used up? About 1300, yeah. You can see this stuff coming in so fast it can't keep up. So this is the one we really want. The Kyle flower. So I've picked six Kyle flower. And we've got 144. Uh, getting 24 per, is that right? 24 per, I think so. So that's cool. We have got unbelievable amounts of the Snowdonia hawkweed. <laughs> okay, let's keep on picking those. How's that crop plot done? Ah, that's used less than... Ah. ah, that had different plants in it. That's interesting, isn't it? Now this one's got the... Let's have a look. The cold biter herb. And I've got 72. And I'm going to plant pick six. Uh, I've now got 216. Uh, oh, I can't be bothered to do the maths. But but you get lots, don't you? If anybody can be bothered to do the maths to work out how much 72 off that divided by 6 is, uh, <laughs> that would be great. Okay. Let's see how much this crop plot's used. Uh, let's use more. Hmm. Now, I think when there are no crops in there, they should stay static. They shouldn't be using the, uh, the fertilizer up. Okay. Now, that one's on 1420. So, let's see what happens if I put one Hobart's growth fertilizer in here. So that's going up. So 
that was 1420. Right. Okay. That's, that's not going to take that long, actually, so we might just uh, wait and see. Yep, they're all going up. Let's see, when that's finished, what have we got? So it's gone from 1420 to 1750, so it's gone up by 330. Uh, that would be... Yeah. So it's disseminated the 2700 uh, fertilizer across the plots. Cool. Let's add a few more to that. and go down to the deconstructor. Now, for the frostwood plant, I'm going to need two karma flower seeds. So actually I can deconstruct the whole lot of those and get flower seeds. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to de deconstruct all of those. I'm going to plant some flowers and loads of frostwood and I'll bring you back when the frostwood is ready, which I assume will be about an hour in my time. But it'll be very fast for you. See you soon. And back at the farm, the wood has grown. So let's see what we've got. 12 frostwood. Okay. So this, I think, is about four hours later. That's how long it took the frostwood to grow quite some time. But we're going to have quite a bit of frostwood. Oops. So how much have we got? 432. So there we are. That seems like a reasonable crop. We'll get some corpse flowers as well. Why not? And I planted these, the... Um, uh, there's the hellebore flowers. At the same time as the corpse flowers. So the corpse flowers took an hour. These ones are clearly taking longer than an hour. So I'll probably come back and plant some more stuff. But that's a, a pretty clear example, I think, of how the farming works. Uh, so there you go. Hope that's helpful. If it is, do leave a like, and uh, hopefully other people will be able to find the information rather more easily. So I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.